beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to Meet Me Brewski for beer review number 91. And today I have a beer for you from Barnstorm Brewing Company. It is their Windshear Watermelon Summer Ale. I know this is now early January and it is a summer ale. It has, this was bottled in August. So hopefully, hopefully it is still okay-ish. Not a hundred percent sure, but I want to try it out. This was actually gifted to me by my beautiful girlfriend, and um, yeah, I was very interested in this. Want to see how it is? Hopefully, it still has some great flavor. So, this is what the can looks like. You know, pinup girl watermelon with a uh, not a watermelon, airplane shaped like a watermelon, watermelon shaped like an airplane. Whatever you want to see it. That's cool. Coming in at. 4.1% alcohol by volume, and only, ooh, looks like to be about 12 IBUs. I like how they do their IBUs, SRM, and ABU, little dials there on the side. Pretty, pretty neat. All right. Let's, uh, let's crack it open and see what we got. Oh, boy. I'm going to give it a smell first, see if it's gone bad. I don't know. I don't think it has. Let's, uh, let's pour it in here. See what we have got. We're important. Not much. Perfect. Okay. Looking at the beer. Ah, it smells fruity as all hell. But yeah, very, very pale looking. Um, very, very light yellowy color. A little bit of a head on there. Not too much. A uh, bit of carbonation coming through it as well, but nothing too crazy. Alright, let's, uh, just gonna stick my nose in it, see what kind of aromas we have. All I'm getting is watermelon juice. That's all I'm getting. It's just watermelon, watermelon, watermelon everywhere. Um, lots of lots of watermelon. I like watermelon. I did have a beer, watermelon beer before. I didn't like that one. Let's see if Barnstormer can do something a bit different. Yeah, it smells fine. It doesn't have that cheesy smell, which uh, beers do when they go bad, but this doesn't. So, let's uh, dive into our sips, and then we'll see what we can find in the flavor department. Because all I'm getting from the nose is straight up watermelon. Oh, it's weird. I'm getting artificial watermelon with like a light lager. Like light as in light lager with not much going on. But there is watermelon flavor. It's like a it's like a light watermelon juice. Like you know those ones with like 50% less sugar or some shit like that. That's sort of what it tastes like. And I have this confused look on my face because I'm very confused on how this beer tastes. It's different. You get some like bready notes as well, a bit of yeastiness on there, but a lot of sweet watermelon. Not super, super sweet, but sort of in the middle, which isn't too bad. It's not overpowering, which is which is nice to see. All right, let's continue on drinking and uh, enjoy this interesting, interesting beer. Cheers, everybody. This is so weird. It has watermelon flavor, but then it has like no flavor. And then sort of a bready yeastiness on the tongue in the uh, in the finish. Definitely not my favorite, but definitely something very interesting. Oh, that is so weird. It is much better than that other watermelon beer I had. I think that was by Kensington Brewing or something like that. This one's much better. drinkability on this is phenomenal barely even tastes like beer it's just watermelon juice carbonated watermelon juice waterish kind of thing i don't know it's nice but it's weird it's weird as all hell so 
Let's look on the can. Very nice logo. I love Barnstormers logos. I think they do an amazing job with their whole aircraft sort of schematic kind of thing. And little, uh, sometimes it raised the, um, the logos and all that extra stuff and things. So let's try to find a description. No real description that I can actually find. Uh, they have ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast, and watermelon. So, good to see there. 4.1%, IBUs is, what, maybe 12, 13 at the most. SRM is quite low, probably about 5 or 6, if I'm not mistaken. And, brewed on date, clearly labeled on the bottom of the can. Other than that, not much else. Actually, brewed, brewed and berry. Kind of cool. And they have their Facebook, Instagram, Twitter handles and whatnot but yeah nice looking can design not a lot of information not good information no description definitely is a summertime beer definitely refreshing very crisp very clean just a weird watermelon and beer doesn't seem to mix when you say it and when it comes down to actually drinking it, it still doesn't mix that well, but this isn't too, too bad. Looking over on the uh, website here, which is barnstormerbrewing.com. For Windshear Watermelon Summer Ale, they say, perfect for spring and summer. Windshear, wa yeah, Windshear Watermelon Summer Ale will change the direction and cause some turbulence. The straw-colored ale is delicately balanced with the refreshing character of watermelon. Windshear has a white foamy head, sweet watermelon aromatics, smooth body, and ends clean with a quenching watermelon finish. Garnish with a slice. Actually not a bad idea. This is for the beer drinker who wants a little something special for the weekend. A real treat any time of year on a patio, dock, or at the ballpark. Nice uh, description there on the website. I wish it was on the can though. And they show their availability, the format, if it's, if it's not your round or not. All that jazz alcohol, bitterness, which is actually 15 IBUs. And they do have recipe pairings, food pairings. I love when uh, breweries do that, put that on their website. They say barbecue, roast pork, summer lovin'. Summer lovin's not a thing you eat, but I guess, I guess it's each their own, right? <laughs> But no, um, other than that, very nice looking website. Simple, but still very nice. Moving over to Beer Advocate now. Uh, Windshear has been given a 3.39 out of 5, so it's an okay rating. Oh, it's just so weird. Looking down for a review. Here's somebody, they give it a 3.02 out of 5. They say... Big soapy head gone right away. Hazy pale golden yellow. Bubble gummy smell and taste. Bitterness and metal on the palate. Quite spritzery. Not so interesting, I'm afraid. Only passable drinkable as a novelty. I gotta agree with him on that. Definitely a novelty style of beer. Nothing you would want to drink a lot of. It's a get it, try it. If you like it, have it once in a while, but I don't think you're going to be seeing people buying six packs of this and cracking them open on the regular. That's just my personal opinion. Maybe some people love this stuff, but me, not so much. I mean, drinkability on this is absolutely phenomenal. Super easy to drink. Uh, goes down quite smoothly. No offensive flavors, just weird flavors. Watermelon and beer, I'm gonna say it again, it's a weird combination, but they're actually kind of making it work here a little bit, but still, I don't see a great, great market for this style of beer. <coughs> Which I am surprised that it is available all year round, at least in the case of their website, that's what they're telling me. Year round availability, see this is more of like a one-off, sort of style in my opinion but hey if they're making money off this beer why not who am I to say oh it's weird oh there's just no no 
no beer flavor other than that little bit of breadiness, but yeasty breadiness on the finish. I maybe a hint of like a light lager or something in there, which I'm surprised why they're calling it an ale. I'm getting more lager characteristics, something like that, like a Bud Light. So, not the greatest, definitely novelty, but watermelon flavor is there, and it is actually flows, man, it does flow nice. Um, it's not overly sweet by any means. So, seeing that we are on the last sip, let's uh, finish this off and get ready to ratings. Cheers, everybody. It's weird. It's definitely, definitely weird. Happy that I did try it, but not going to be buying this again. Don't, wouldn't really recommend it unless you want to get that novelty aspect of it. Try something a little bit different, but I wouldn't buy it again. <laughs> but it was nice to try at least once. Um, so, rating for the beer. Um, very light watermelon flavor, not overly sweet, which actually works really well for it. Other than that, no flavor. Uh, super light, tasteless lager. Uh, lagery flavor that I'm getting off of it, rather than it being an ale. But that goes down to, I think, brewing processed, which determines if it's a lager or an ale. Um, other than that, the yeastiness, breadiness that I get on the finish, it's nice. It, it There's it's nothing bad. It's just weird. Overall, it's a weird beer. Um, I gotta give this a lower rating. I gotta give it a 5 out of 10. 5 only because it is the best watermelon beer I've had out of the two. Um, and that it is quite a novelty. Moving over to presentation though, Barnstormer always does a great job with their um, can design and all that. Information of SRM, ABV, IBU is there, ingredients there, um, brewed on date, perfect. Um, if there was a description of the beer on the can, that would be even better. But on the website, it does make up for that for the description and also the recipe pairings as long as as well with sorry availability and alcohol and bitterness information all there that's uh very very nice so i gotta give the presentation of the can and the website a solid 8.5 out of 10 in my opinion so five for the beer 8.5 for the presentation that seems to about just wrap it up so if you have any comments questions uh beers you want to see me review in the future leave all that information down in the comment box below and i'll definitely check that out so with all that said that'll do it for me maple Ruski, and like i always say crack a beer and enjoy cheers <laughs>